Hi guys, my name is Sabrina and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a kind of different drawing. I wanted to do a drawing regarding bees. So without any further ado, let's get on to the video. So I'm showing you guys the sketchwork and the line art in the video I sped up by 200% because the work took really really long and I want to spare you guys some of that as well and I just wanted to do something regarding bees and how I got to this idea was I got a message on my Instagram post with the mince leaf tea that had the honeycomb background and because I used a tag regarding honey someone came up about save the bees and I was like why not actually make a drawing regarding that because I think it is a great cause is very important and I just want to do something for that so this is not sponsored or anything not at all I really just wanted to show you guys what I could do with these animals and just make you guys aware of the cost. Bees are so important for nature and for us and we wouldn't have so many things if it wasn't for bees and you nowadays have like those bee packets as well for in the garden and then certain type of flowers and plants will sprout from that and they will attract bees and they will pollinate then other things so that's what i'm going to do as well our garden isn't done yet it's we barely even started at it so we have a lot of work to do but i do know that like in the flower beds that i want to have done i want to get some of those packets and that bees will come to our garden and I just want to help nature along a little bit because we as a humankind do so many bad things to nature I think it's good for us to do something positive as well and I'm by far not I'm not at all a person who is really high up in the sky about nature and everything but I do respect it and I do think it's important to keep our environment clean and the way nature is supposed to be so pick up your rubbish don't leave it on the beach and silly things like that as well so that is just really important to me and I will be teaching my child that as well and it's just a great cause so I'm really happy with that so I started out by making some drawings and I've got some reference images as well about or from flowers that are good for bees so this is lavender I'm not quite sure what the other ones are. I actually just took them as reference photos and made the drawing without looking about what they were. So I'm sorry that I couldn't tell you all the names of the flowers in my drawing, but I do like them. So they're so nice and colorful and I love how lavender smells. I think it's great. I really want to get some lavender in our garden as well. It just, it's so nice and summery. It looks great. And especially here in Ireland where it's overcast so much. I do hope that grows by the way in this weather. But I just like how it looks and it makes your garden look a bit more cherry. So that was my thought process there. So that's what I started with and I'm coloring it in with the shades. They're like violet shades, violet 15 and 17 if I'm not mistaken so I'm using those just to get the base color down and then using a darker color to get some shades down kind of as I always do and I really want to start with the flowers have all the flowers done and then continue with the rest of the drawing so these flowers are first and I made quite a bit of them pretty much the whole left side is lavender and it's just nice I like color I like violet it's a nice color so that's what I did and I continued on to like the other flowers I got I don't know what they're called I should have like looked at the picture written it down and but no of course the brilliant did not do that I did not stop to think that that would be a wise idea so if you're doing something like this that might be a wise idea but uh, I want to make sure that I had some gradients going on in here as well I did not want to have this look as if it was like a plain drawing with just single colors i just don't really like the look of those i like a bit of gradients in there so i went in with like a darker pink 
and then I went in with a bit of an orangey color as well to try and get a bit more contrast in that picture and I think that helped for these flowers as well so for the lavender it's kind of similar based it's like a lighter shade and a dark shade of the same kind of family but for these ones I picked a completely different color for the final gradient that I put down near the center of the flowers and I think that works I really do think that works and I made this on my iPad and the reason why I put those stripes behind there is first of all it's regarding bees so bees are stripy in my mind and I just thought it looked nice because this is not like a drawing that fills the entire page it's a unique kind of shape and I think it worked out better with the lines behind it. It just filled up the page a bit more. And originally I wanted to have writing at the bottom area as well. And <laughs> I started writing on my iPad. And you must have seen that at the sketch part of this video. If you didn't, you can go have a look. But I want to write that in myself. And then I realized I am not a great writer. Like... I'm writing neatly, you can read my handwriting and everything, that's no problem at all, but I really cannot write fancy like calligraphy and that would be amazing. I would love to learn calligraphy. I actually do have some like pens, are they called pens? Like they're ink pens, so I do have those and I used them only a little but I'm not really good at it. I think I have to practice just more and more and like that takes time too so I, it, it kind of never happened is what I'm trying to say it kind of never happened so I didn't stop to think that my iPad would have a section where I could put down text in and me done like I don't know I was derping or something but yeah I completely missed that and only after the fact and after this drawing was printed out and I started working on it did I find out that my iPad has got a section where you can put in the writing and you can even choose fonts and everything. So in the back of my mind, I was like, sugar, I should have done that. That would have made this drawer more complete. It would have say, it would have said save the bees underneath there. And it would have been more of how I would think of it. But oh well, what is done is done. And I ended up not drawing it in either because I didn't think that that would look right. I thought that my handwriting wasn't good enough, so I ended up not doing that. So you can see that I colored in the yellow flowers now as well. And for the yellow flowers, I went in with just yellow shades. So there were no orange shades in here. It was just darker shades of yellow for like more contrast and everything. And I did the same with the blue. So these are actual blue colors. And I've just used those to make a highlight and a bit of shadows in there and everything as well. So once this is done, which will be any second now, I'm starting with the green bit. So I want to start with the leaves and everything. And the thing is when you're doing this, you're starting to find things that aren't right or that you missed. And of course I found things, well, the drawing is right. Like that's no problem at all, but I did miss a few things. I was like, oh no, I should have gotten rid of that, or I shouldn't have done that, oops. So I am very happy with it. I'm very happy with how it's turning out. And it's a different kind of style of drawing compared to what I usually do, because usually I only do humans, or I rarely do animals. Maybe I should do animals more on my channel. What do you guys think? Do you guys think I should draw more animals? Just let me know down below in the comments if you would like to see that and if so what kind of animal would you prefer me to draw first so i can definitely do that like i do like drawing i've drawn cats before and even though it was just a pencil drawing it did it did come out quite well i did like it and i posted it on my instagram actually and they're quite cute i don't think they're 100 percent correct i did have to use a reference for those as well by the way even though i have a cat walking around the house all day long or actually he's sleeping on my baby's bouncer right now <laughs> that is what he's doing right now right here next to me in the room while i'm shooting the video and the baby is asleep in a cot so yeah you can see me putting in the shades as well and the shadow areas and I want to make sure that, of course, as always, 
this drawing has a bit more contrast to it. And while I was doing that, I just forgot about a few things here and there. <laughs> Which of course always happens. Like, why not? Like, it's kind of a recurring thing, isn't it? I, I don't know what's wrong with me. Something is seriously wrong with me, you guys. <laughs> but yes, I forgot things, but I did rectify them. And I'll learn from that. It's like, next time, you know, the more you do this, the better you become. And I'm a true believer of that. And I drew in a lot of bees. I went with seven bees. And I always think that having an uneven number in your drawings and pictures is a good thing. It's kind of what I've been taught as well. And my husband actually helped me a lot with photography as well. And if I'm not mistaken, he is a true believer of uneven numbers too. And I don't know, just catches more interest. It's more spread out. It's not like if you look at the left and the right side, you can see there's three bees on each side and that could be boring. But like that one bee extra in there might just be improving the picture a little. So yes, I did draw or I did color in the bees last. I'm here putting the final touches on the, the flowers and making sure that those were okay and looking how I wanted it to look and especially with like the yellow flowers I didn't know exactly what kind of color to make the center as so I just decided to do some really dark yellows and then a gray and then a black in dots so when you look up close you can see that they're actual dots and then I went to the bees those are the main part of the piece and maybe that's why I wanted to wait with these as well. I wanted to make sure that the flowers were done first, that those were fully complete and then move on to these. And I used my black marker for this, number 100. And the reason why I did this and not do fill it in on the iPad or fill it in with fine liner it's because at the point at that time I wasn't quite sure how to complete them I wasn't quite sure where I wanted the black stripes to go and yeah so that's why I kind of waited with that I was like no you know what I'll figure that out later and I can leave them blank and I have the black Copic markers so that's no problem at all and my face is showing in the picture too so I can see my glasses there as well I'm really when I'm drawing I'm really hunched over and then really trying to see the drawing up close myself because I really suck at drawing from a distance. I just am more comfortable when I'm drawing, looking at the picture as close as possible, I suppose. And that just gives me the best results. So it just is more comfortable for me. But at the end of recording, it's a bit sore and my back does not appreciate it as much. So I might have to figure out a new way of doing that. So I colored in the bees and I went in with a mixture of yellowy and orangey markers and the more yellow ones are at the top body of the bees and the orange ones are more at the bottom body of the bees and then I went in and I colored in the wings with a very light yellow and after that I went over it with colorless blender to try and get rid of some of the color to see if I could make it a little more translucent so that was it guys the end of my video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you liked the drawing let me know down below in the comments if you do i appreciate your input please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already and i'll catch you guys next week thank you bye